Yeah. What's the experience been like so far? This is like a dream come true, I guess. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while. Like, since you started playing football, the opportunity to do this. And so it was just kind of surreal being here. Have you lifted yet? No. I, I didn't do the 225 test. I'm going to do it at Pro Day. Okay, good. I'm assuming you know what happened with Billy. I'm not sure exactly, because he was in a different group than me, but yeah. What are your thoughts on, on that? I just hope he's all right. Hope there's nothing serious. Hopefully something's fine and he can bounce back and do the stuff tomorrow and do the uh, lifting that product. He's going to put up impressive numbers whenever he benches. You haven't talked to him since then? No, I haven't been able to talk to him. You guys have been training together in Charles, right? Yep. How has that, how is that gone, you know, in the first month or two since the end of the season? You know, uh, with Charles Bentley, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, he's one of the most respected guys in the league when it comes to training players. So, and all the other NFL guys there, it's just nice to be around those guys and get insight on what to expect, especially going into this rookie year and this whole process of uh, pre-draft and stuff like that. So it's just nice to have those veterans there as well to, you know, just kind of give us a heads up of what to expect. Uh, Taylor's there. Uh, Pat Omamwe. Jaguars there, Alex Boom. It's a lot of guys that are out there. Could you mark a little thought about how JT has a mic filling in I just think whatever team gets him is going to get a great worker and a great leader. Uh, he's probably the best leader I've ever been around, and he's tough as nails. Guy had surgery and went out and played the next week in the Big Ten Championship. And that just really sums up the type of guy he is. So he's going to give whatever team gets him with all, everything he has. Speaking of Big Ten you were just here about two months ago for the yeah. Big Ten title game. It feel any different being back here in a different setting? Yeah, I was actually walking by the field earlier today, and I was like, wow. <laughs> Uh, I was here a couple of, couple months ago, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot different this time around. Not playing football and not with the Buckeyes, but uh, it's still a great feeling to be here. What teams have you met with so far? Um, I have a lot of my formal interviews tonight. I have some informal uh, interviews with uh, pretty much all the teams. What do you expect the biggest question about you to be the teams? Uh, I know I'm not the uh, ideal height, I would say, for a tackle. And so uh, just probably asking if I can move around, but I think I can play tackle and guard in the league. I'll do whatever a team wants me to do. What do you think of the things that you do that maybe makes up for that height? Uh, for one, my arm span definitely helps. Uh, I'm not necessarily 6'7", but I have the arm span of some of the guys who are 6'7", so that definitely helps me well. And my, I think I move my feet pretty well on the edge when it comes to pass blocking and things like that.